Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title and from this video that we will be taking these jeans, these white jeans right here, and transforming them into a top. Yeah, so if you guys have some jeans, go grab them and follow along with me in creating this beautiful top. If you have jeans that you don't wear anymore, don't throw them away. Go ahead and grab them and use them for this video. So before we get into this video, y'all know what to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to your girl's channel. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so now you just wanna lay out your pair of jeans and fold them just like I'm doing here. Um, you wanna fold them because you're gonna get ready to cut them and you're gonna get ready to cut them at the crotch. So just fold them like I'm doing here. I'm just making sure that everything is lined up. And don't mind that little spot right there. You know, stuff is always getting on white jeans. You can't keep them clean for too long before something gets on them. But yes, anyways, now we finna get ready and cut the jeans at the crotch like I'm doing here. And then when you're done, you're gonna put the bottom part of the jeans to the side and you're gonna continue to cut like I'm doing here. And I'm just making sure that everything is even. I'm just lining up everything right here before I cut and just making sure that everything is even. Getting rid of all the excess that we don't need. So just like this, your pants should look like this now. And then I'm going to go ahead and seam rip this middle part open right here and this will give you the flaps that's on um, the top part of the top so go ahead and seam rip this part you're going to seam rip it all the way down until you can't seam rip it no more so basically once you get to the zipper part you're going to stop So I'm just gonna try this on so you guys can see how it looks so far. So you see the top of the pants is at the bottom. So I just flipped it because it's more fitted down here and that's what I like. I want it to fit the body. And yeah. With the sleeves added on, it will look something like this. But with these bottoms, I'm going to go ahead and add some elastic on the inside so that I can get a ruffle look and that it's not so long. All right, so to add the elastic, I'm going to go ahead and just seam rip um, open one of the sides of the pants. So seam ripping this side. And I'm just doing this because it makes it so much easier to sew on the elastic onto the pants. So much easier, you guys. So halfway through, I'm just going to go ahead and add the elastic on both sides. Measure the elastic. I'm just going to make the elastic half of this part that I seam ripped. And you will need two pieces of elastic. So, as you guys can see here, I'm cutting two pieces because I will need one piece for each side. And then when you're pinning down the elastic onto your jeans, you just want to pull the elastic so that it's evenly distributed onto the part where you want to sew the elastic onto your jeans. Just so stretching out the elastic and pinning down while it's stretched out. Piece of elastic on the other side. Alright, 
So you're gonna go ahead and take this to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch. All right, and as you guys can see that I am pulling onto the jeans while I am sewing, and that's to stretch out the elastic in the jeans. You wanna do this, but you will also wanna make sure that your needle is down into your jeans before pulling. And then this is what it should look like. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Now all you want to do is just go ahead and sew this part closed. And then we will see the finished product. Once you are done, you just want to take it to your sewing machine and do a straight stitch. When you're finished with this, you're basically done and you want to go ahead and do the same steps for the other sleeve. Alright, so now we got our sleeves all sewn up. Now I'm just going to take the body part of the top and just do a top stitch all the way around. But if you don't want to stitch this part, you can go ahead and just iron it down flat. But I decided that I want to just go ahead and just sew it down so that I won't have to worry about it later. Now we are getting ready to add the sleeves onto the body part. I had already pinned it on the side and I'm just going to do a straight stitch on both sides. Now I'm just trying the top on to see how it looks and see how it fits and I'm liking it so far. I'm loving the way it fits. It's pretty fitted around the bottom which is what I like. Even though I'm heavy at the top, I feel like this top fits me really good. So for all my ladies who wear double D's and up, this top is a good top for you ladies. And also for my ladies who aren't heavy at the top as well. I feel like this will be a good top for you. but. I feel like it's much harder for us ladies who are heavy at the top to find something that is cute and fits us good. And so, yup, ladies, for my ladies who are much heavy at the top, I would say do this. If you have an old pair of jeans, don't throw them away. Go ahead and make this top. You won't be disappointed. All right, so now I'm just measuring my wrist because we are going to close the wrist part up. I do, however, like how it looked without closing up the wrist so if you like how it looks um, without closing up the wrist part of the shirt I would say go ahead and end this video because I like it either way but I honestly was just experimenting and was just doing stuff like I honestly was just was like okay let me see how this will look if I do this so yeah I cut out two pieces of elastic um, I just measured around my wrist and my desired length that I would like I didn't want it to be too tight I went ahead and did that and then I did a straight stitch across the elastic to close it up and now I'm just pinning the elastic onto the wrist part um, just making sure that the elastic is evenly distributed Once I was done pinning down the elastic, I went ahead and took it to my sewing machine and just sewed down the elastic using a straight stitch. And as you guys can see, I'm just leaving a little bit of room at the top 
um, I'm not too close to the top. I'm just leaving a little bit of room to give that ruffle look. Once you are done, it should look something like this. And now we are going to go ahead and try the top on again and see how it looks. All right, I don't know about y'all, but this top is kind of giving me Fiesta vibes. <laughs> But anyways, if y'all have enjoyed watching this video, make sure y'all go ahead and give me a like. Make sure y'all comment and let me know how you guys like this. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. And yes, let's look at the before and after pics. So we went ahead and took these jeans and transformed it into this beautiful, lovely top. I just freestyled it for you guys and it came out pretty well. And for my ladies who are much heavier at the top, don't forget to try this out because I think that this top is flattering. You know it's hard for us out here, so yes. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you all on the next video.